In today's quick bite, we're going to look at inspecting and air leak testing low voltage insulating gloves. During the last few weeks, we've identified some misunderstanding in air leak testing low voltage gloves. So when inspecting gloves, you do need to look for any damage, looking for any uh, tears or holes in the glove, stretching it out as well. Sometimes they're not always easily identifiable just by looking at the glove. So stretch the material a little bit to see if you can identify any, uh, any pinhole defects or anything like that looking in the webbing as well. Make sure you check both sides. Also looking for any discoloration on the glove, something that looks a bit odd, even the feel. Sometimes you can feel it's a little bit gritty. Um, you know, that's not a great sign of a glove in good condition. So on visual inspection, this glove looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna perform our air leak test now on it. A good way to do your air leak test, rather than just holding the glove flat as it is, open it up from the side it allows more air to be trapped inside give it a twirl or roll it up if you prefer traps a bit of air in the glove now i want to apply a little bit of pressure not too much just to pressurize the air and we're listening for any uh any damage any holes uh in the glove trying to see if we can hear any air escaping we're also looking for the inflation of the glove so if you feel the glove deflating in your hands um, obviously not a great sign it is a good idea as well to check each finger. It can be quite difficult to hear air leaking, especially if it's a pinhole defect. You want to hold this air leak test for at least 20 seconds. It is important to be vigilant doing these tests. While this glove does seem to be in good condition, you know, it doesn't really sound like there's any air leaking. There is a pinhole defect in these gloves. I can feel it slightly going down in my hand. And I can prove it to you now, just by dunking this in some water, you'll be able to see the air escaping. So it is only a pinhole, but it's enough to defect the gloves. Some of the defects that we have come across over the last couple of weeks, a discoloration of the glove, that real gritty feeling um, of the glove, thinner material, so in certain parts of the glove, you might feel the material is a little bit thinner than others. And then upon inflation, we found pinhole defects, as well as things like this. So that's it guys, that's how we test our gloves. Just remember it is your responsibility to perform that test before you use your insulating gloves, making sure they're in good condition. When storing your gloves, separate them from the leather router and keep them in the canvas bags provided. So I hope you guys found that video useful and if you want more information, contact us at Technical Training.